Hello everyone, I am Manali Reshamwala, Assistant Professor from LG Institute of Physiotherapy. Today I am going to talk about bronchiectasis. It is a part of syllabus for final year physiotherapy students of Gujarat University and the subject is Physiotherapy in Cardiopulmonary Conditions. So let's see the topics to be discussed in this video tutorial. These are definition, pathology, physiotherapy assessment and prognosis of bronchiectasis. In next video tutorial, we are going to discuss physiotherapy management in detail. So do watch it. So let's see the definition first. Bronchiectasis is an obstructive lung disease characterized by permanent abnormal dilatation of one or more of the medium sized bronchi and bronchioles. It is usually manifested clinically as a chronic cough often with copious sputum reduction. So let's see the pathology in brief. In bronchiectasis, there is bronchial obstruction. So the area or the airways distal to the obstruction gets shrink because the air is being absorbed from the lung tissue. And the area or the proximal airways gets dilated and distorted because of obstruction. Now what happens if this obstruction is being removed then this whole process is reversible. We can re-expand the distal airways as well as the dilatation of the proximal airways is reversible. But if this obstruction remains, there will be production and as well as collection of secretion in the distal airways. This collection of secretion leads to infection because bacteria get invaded there easily. This infection may cause inflammation in the bronchial wall. In bronchial wall, the muscles and elastic tissue gets distracted. Here we can see in a figure, there is a normal bronchus and here is the bronchus of bronchiectasis, where there is destruction of the elastic and muscle tissue. So there is destruction of wall of the bronchi as well as there is loss of ciliary activity and a lots of mucus production. All these things narrow the airway as well as makes the bronchial wall more and more weaker. That's why they become distorted and sac-like. Plus, alveolar wall also gets th weaker and bronchopulmonary vessels around the bronchial walls can lead blood to flow or blood to go inside the alveoli because of negative intracular pressure. So these kind of patients often come with the symptoms of hemoptysis because of that. As the disease gets progress, the bronchial walls becomes very distorted. There will be air trapping and patient may have symptoms of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Let's see the physiotherapy assessment of bronchiectasis in detail. First of all, we'll take general assessment which will include demographic data, then the site or side which is affected. Most commonly it affects lower lobes, especially lingula and middle lobe. Left side is more affected than right side. And in 50% cases, there is bilateral involvement. History. It is very important to know history of any lung disease patient so that we can get to know 90% of the reason of lung disease. So the bronchitis can be congenital or acquired. Most commonly bronchial obstruction and bacterial infection are principal factors responsible for bronchitis. Mostly it is associated with whooping cough, measles and pneumonia in the childhood. Very occasionally bronchiectasis may occur as a late complication of tuberculosis. Allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis can cause bronchiectasis. So patient may have history of any of this disease. By that way we can get to know the perfect diagnosis of the condition. Subjective assessment which will include breathlessness which is only noticeable in severe disease or extensive involvement. Duration and severity to be asked to the patient. Usually patient may have tachypnea during breathlessness. Cough present type is chronic wet cough. 
frequency persistent cuff with copious pyrrole and sputum which is a very important feature of bronchitis cuff is troublesome on a change of position and increase in early morning sputum which is some with something different from the other condition so it is one of the important differential diagnosis sputum suggest suggested in bronchitis is usually it is green fall smelling and present in fairly large amount V is usually not audible. Hemoptysis present with an acute infection. Chest pain during coughing and on exertion, and other symptoms like fever may be present. On observation, during objective assessment, in general assessment we can see level of consciousness. Patient is usually conscious. If we see the general health and body build. these kind of patient are obese that is they are usually of a blue blotter kind weight loss pyrexia night sweats anorexia malaise and latitude are the different features which may find in bronchitis sin sinuses may be present in later stages observation of chest may show a barrel shaped chest in later case because of air trapping there will be hyperinflation of the lungs breathing pattern is asymmetrical chest raise if it is unilateral involvement use of accessory muscle is always present because of work of increased breathing observation of hand and feet may show clubbing present in 50% of the cases palpation on palpation we may see asymmetrical movement reduced on the affected side if it is unilateral involvement vocal frameters is usually increased and position of the trachea or mediastinum either may be midline if there is bilateral involvement or in initial phases or it may be towards the affected side when it is affected on the unilateral side on percussion initially we may find normal or resonant sound later in of obstructive we may find hyper resonant and in restrictive we may find dull or affected area examination of vital signs in respiratory tract may we may see tachycardia and temperature is raised pulse rate and blood pressure can be measured chest expansion should be measured at the level of axilla xiphoid and subcostal margin auscultation breath sounds in obstructive we may hear harsh vesicular sound with prolonged expiration early and mid inspiratory trickles sometimes wheeze is audible th- through stethoscope in restrictive we may find whispered petrolocry heart sound as fun as to are present range of motion of the shoulder and thoracic spine reduces gradually and if we take a excel shoulder test as a mean of 6 minute walk test or any other we may find reduced exercise tolerance in patient investigation may include lung function test and other test we will we are just looking for it in detail in lung function test we will see lung volume increased in obstructive disease decreased in restrictive disease reduced fev1 fvc ratio and vq mismatch abg analysis in acute condition we may find pao2 reduced in chronic condition psco2 raised and pao2 decreased and there will be acidic ph chest x ray initially is normal later in severe cases we may see increased bronchovascular markings with multiple cyst with fluid level which we can see here in the here are the cyst and increased bronchovascular markings another important investigation in case of bronco bronchitis is bronchography sometimes to rule out area of localization we can take bronchography here in a figure of the left side we can see the sex on the left lung so here there is a more involvement on the left side left lung bronchitis this next is the x-ray image sputum culture initially sputum culture will show hemophilus influenza and streptococcus in later stage pseudomonas and klebsiella can also be found serum ig levels to rule out autoimmune disease like aspergillosis and sweat test to diagnose cystic fibrosis because both have kind of similar 
uh, X-ray images. Prognosis: Majority of the cases live normal life, but may encounter with certain complications like recurrent hemoptysis, pleurisy and empyema, abscess in, abscess in the lung or brain, then empyema, emphysema, uh, respiratory failure and core pulmonal, right ventricular failure, pneumonia, and rarely accompany amyloidosis. So here are the references for physiotherapy management. Do watch my next video. Thank you.